Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Live from Japan. It's super hot, still, hence the crazy curls. I cannot help it. Um, also, I got like the, like the crazy acne rash all of a sudden. But um, anyway, um, thanks for checking in again. Um, today, I wanted to talk to you about food in Japan and specifically what type of food is in my fridge because I do get the question sometimes what I eat or what I cook um, which makes total sense because I can't cook or eat like I did before in Belgium so moving to Japan I kind of had to change my diet and um, learn how to cook with Japanese produce instead of Belgian ones so today I wanted to give you yeah, a look inside my fridge and um, the reason why I'm doing that today is because I just cooked uh, yesterday and I also just cleaned my fridge yesterday so I figured it's a good time to show you what's inside. Okay, without further ado, let's uh, go to the fridge and uh, see what's in there. So it's pretty full because I went shopping yesterday but I'm guessing that we'll work from left to right, top bottom maybe. Okay, I just emptied the top shelf of the fridge and I'll show you what is in there. First of all I have like a dashi shoyu or a broth usually made out of um, kombu, seaweed or um, like a fish stock or something mixed with soy sauce. Yeah, next up is of course um, something you'll find in every fridge in Japan. It's miso paste. And next up is this ninniku and I don't know, like something with bones type of paste that you can add to ramen if you want to, if you're looking for a bit of more of a heavy or koi taste. Then we have like a salad dress dressing that I got as a present from someone, uh, a carrot salad dressing. Then I have capers which I add to my pasta sauce usually. There we go. And then I have like white pickled onions which I usually add to my kare when I make Japanese curry. And then more pickled things, uh, gherkins from Germany which I bought because I usually add them to my sweet potato salad. It's really delicious. Then on to some sweet things. I uh, have some homemade strawberry jam. I have some uh, pureed azuki bean paste, which is like the sweet red beans that are very popular in Japan. Then I have some zeri or <clears throat> basically um, fruit gel, kind of. I don't know how to... Um, translate this but got this from a colleague. This is a great brand that makes delicious sweets and this zeri fruit zeri is also really delicious. So. And lastly I have blue cheese. Uh, oh wait one more thing. I also bought like figs yesterday. Um, you see it's a bit bruised and that's why I bought it because it had like a 40% discount which makes them affordable because as you might or might not know fruits in Japan are pretty expensive so I will usually buy fruits when they're um, when they have a discount so yeah so that's it that's the first shelf and uh, this is not too much um, 
I usually have yogurt in there in my fridge because I like to eat yogurt every morning. Something you'll find probably in every fridge in Japan as well is tofu. I love tofu, it goes with a lot of things. Two Asahi beers, um, someone brought those when I had a party a few weeks ago. Then next up I have, um, it's still wrapped in the plastic because in supermarkets they always wrap things into plastic and more plastic and more plastic. A piece of salmon, chicken breast as well that I bought with a discount. Then yesterday I made this, um, these pickles, uh, cucumber pickles with, um, was it rice wine vinegar and what else was it? Anyway. It's nice to have some like, pickles in your fridge ready to have with whatever you're eating that day because it's a pain to cook for yourself every night or, you know, it's just a pain having to cook every night again and again or just for yourself. It's often not really worth it, I feel. So um, if you have some food prepared in your fridge, it's like, easier to be consistent. Um, yeah, so that was the second shelf. Okay, and now on to the third shelf. Um, I have some vegetables in here. I know this looks like spinach, but it's actually like a, yeah, family of spinach. Uh, it's called mustard spinach or komatsu nut, which has a bit more of a bitter taste than regular spinach. Uh, next up is some uh, basil. Um, I have basil in my garden actually, but it completely died because I was away for a few days, like only five days. I, I gave it water before I left, but yeah, summer here is just so crazy intense that it just completely burned my plants even though they were in shadow as well like they just died it seems like it then next up is this um little fish called iwashi that is like um i don't know um not soaked but marinated this is a leftover from yesterday some okura tempura that i made tempura is like uh, basically either vegetables or uh, fish or whatever that is, yeah, being fried in a batter. Um, this was my first try and it's really delicious. I mean, I especially really love okura tempura, so this is just a great, big success. Uh, this is spinach that I made in a type of simple broth of um, dashi again, like uh, a kombu dashi. Yeah, this is, it's kind of hard to see probably. I'll have to be careful, but like it's super delicious, this broth, and you serve it usually with some sesame seeds. Again, very easy to have in your fridge. If you want to like cook up some rice very quickly, you can just have this with it. It's very, very yum. Then next up I have some miso glazed um, aubergine or yeah, that's how I would call it, aubergine. Um, super delicious as well. This is like um, the miso sauce that I use to glaze the aubergine with. Um, I have like two jars of those so and they last up to two months in your fridge. You can use them to glaze um, any other I mean any other vegetable or any other thing that you would like to glaze with miso sauce so I rem if I remember it correctly it had like miso paste in it and then also quite a lot of um, mirin I think so to like kind of make it sweet and so when you glaze it um, because the mirin is sweet it will actually stick to your food so you'll get delicious miso glazed taste and then lastly is um, this kombu seaweed that is, um, it's hard to see maybe because the whole packaging is black. And this kombu seaweed is, is, is I don't know, marinated as well with um, a mix of 
I think shoyu and um, sesame seeds as well. It's great to put on top of your um, rice, for example, and I absolutely love it. Okay, for the vegetable shelf, I'll just show it up close. Um, I have broccoli in here, um, kombucha, kombucha, or um, I guess butter, squash, ginger over here. Another have enough ginger. Then we have the aubergines. Um, I use them for the miso place aubergine that I showed you before. And um, an onion that I used before. Um, carrot, courgette, uh, I guess you call it. Um, some small tomatoes that I will use for a dish later on. And some bigger ones as well because tomatoes are just delicious in summer. Then uh, let's move to the side over here. It's a bit messy, but um, so here there's a lot of tiny um, bags that have um, shoga. So, um, God, I'm so bad <laughs> at remembering the English name sometimes. Um, the ginger, the one that I showed you before, and there's like shoyu as well. Usually, when you buy um, like sushi. Uh, bento boxes they will have all of this inside there so um, I have butter over here this one's a bit special because it's like fermented butter it's super delicious um, I have some parmigiano cheese for when I make pasta I have some um, yeah fake cheese because sometimes it's a life savior whenever I'm hungry at night or something uh, my French mustard, my Belgian Tiedentain mustard. If we go down here, these are like vitamin D, super strong energy drinks. Like honestly, I, I, I can drink coffee at night and still sleep, but if I drink one of these, I cannot sleep. Like whenever you feel a little bit, um, you know, just down physically, drink one of these and you'll feel better. Um, again, usually I. I wouldn't buy this, a, a friend gave this to me, and um, yeah, so anyway, yeah, you'll find a lot of these to like heal your skin or uh, when you're hungover, um, there's specific tiny drinks like these that are supposed to fix you up in like 30 minutes, pretty crazy. Then I have here yuzu ponzu, which is being used to add to your hot pot dishes in Japan often, like as a dipping sauce as well. This is a light shoyu or soy sauce that I have here as well. Japanese mayonnaise, Belgian mayonnaise and American ketchup. Um, then I have here like a thick sweet um, how do you, yeah, miso paste kind of sweet that you can, oh, dropped it. Now you can use to like, um, a lot of people use it to glaze their aubergines with as well, um, but I'm guessing there's a lot of other things you can do with that as well. Uh, this is Japanese mustard, karashi, then of course there's wasabi, and um, again ginger as well, this time in a paste form. This is some cold homemade rooibos tea um, just definitely in summer it can get very hot so I like to have some cold tea ready in the fridge this is a bottle of I don't really know exactly what but I'm guessing it's like a Japanese um, sake and Japanese alcohol and there's white wine over here again it's been in there for weeks I don't really drink I'll open it whenever somebody's coming over and then lastly milk so that's it that's my fridge